Hello and welcome back to episode 5 of Chelmsford City. We're back today to play Altrincham in the FA Trophy. Just before we get into today's video, if you are enjoying the content on the channel and this series, please do leave a like down below, comment and subscribe. Let me know what you think the score is going to be as we play Altrincham in today's episode. They are from the National League, however they're down in 17th at the moment, so they're not exactly flying in the National League. Since you're last with us, however, first of all, we beat Ebbsfleet. 2-1. We then had a game against Hampton and Richmond, who was second in the league at the time. I believe they still are. And we lost 5-3 to them. It was 4-0 within 15 minutes. We mounted a little bit of a comeback, but it was never enough to make them worry. We then drew 3-3 with Stalybridge in the second round of the FA Trophy. Beat them 3-1 in the replay, however. And since then, we beat Dartford 5-0. We lost to Dulwich Hamlet and our old friends say Albans 2-1. And then most recently we thrashed Slough 4-0. So we're very hit and miss with our results at the moment. It leaves us 12th, so we're just about in the top half of the table. However, we definitely need to make some signings in January. As you can see, we've changed our formation. We've gone to a 5-3-2. We've got a Jiri in goal, a back three of Aluwu, Winfield, Elabd. Wing backs are James and Barn and Bob. The main thing we need with transfers in January is new wing backs. Trotter, Dowling and Dunn in midfield and then we've got Ruff and Jackson up front. Dowling is a new signing. He's come in on a free from Swindon. Swindon S, whoever they are. He's come in. He's looked very good since he arrived. So let's hope we can keep it up today against Altrincham. Let's see what we can do. Pringle on the ball for Altrincham. Tries a long ball forward. It gets nodded down to Osborne who runs into the box. Goes for goal. However, he sends it over the bar. Jones on the ball at the back for Altrincham. Out to Lovett and then on to Haddow. Osborne on the ball and back to Lovett. We are playing relatively defensive in this game. We're kind of looking for the counter-attacks and keeping men behind the ball is the plan. However, a ball over the top has managed to find its way through to Con Clark, who's put the ball in the back of the net. That was not part of the plan and it was far far too easy for them we did not want to be conceding this early on it's just the Luwu gets dragged away from his man a little bit unfortunately James throws the ball into rough short on the right hand side back to Luwu and then inside to Trotter back to Luwu we're going to take our time a bit here this is the one problem we've got is with playing the counter-attacking football, when they are sat in a shape, Jackson on the volley, what a goal that would have been. As I was saying, when they're sat in a shape, we do struggle to break teams down at the moment. Trotter on the ball in midfield for us. It's deep in our own half. Aluwu sends the ball forward, finds Jackson. However, he can't bring it down well enough and loses the ball. Ruff should really be up there supporting him more than he was there. Karja sends the ball out to the left-hand side for Altrincham. However, James is the only one out there sends it forward but loses the ball and it's coming back at us over the top James wins another header but Osborne brings it down into space gets a shot off and over the bar from Osborne again half time 1-0 down we are not in a position where we're out of this game though free kick on the edge of the Altrincham box here Ruff is stood over it and he's gonna go for goal and finds the back of the net we are back on level terms against Altrincham what a goal from Ruff, who's come into this team in the striker slot, which isn't his preferred position. I know it's from a free kick, but he's been doing well recently anyway. Alabd is now on the ball, tries to find the ball forward, can't find Dunn. However, it breaks back to Barn and Bob, who plays it inside to Ruff. He plays the ball over the top to Jackson. That's exactly what he's been doing. Big chance for Jackson. That should have been to Ruff on the ball. Back to Dowling. Gets... Oh. What a strike from Dunn. Nearly finding the top corner. Hitting the bar though. We're going to make a change. Ocheng's going to come on for Trotter in midfield. And we'll send Noakes on for Elabd at the left of the centre-backs. Dowling sends a ball into the near post. It's headed away by Lovett though. Barnum Bob collects it. Plays it to Dunn. Then back to Dowling on the wing. Cross the box. James into the top corner. The flag's up. It's not 2-1. It was very close to 2-1. And it's a good call by the fourth official. Or the linesman, I should say. But at the moment, we're the team that are going to find a winner in this game. 
Jackson on the ball for Altringham at left back to Pringle. Tries to play it over the top. Finds Osborne. And he's put it wide. I thought that was going into the back of the net. And I thought it was a heartbreaking end to the game for us. However, we've got the goal kick. Can we get the ball upfield and find potentially a late winner? I get the feeling the whistle's going to blow before we get the chance to. Especially with how long Ajiri has decided to take over this goal kick. Even I'm thinking of booking him for time wasting at this point. Eventually plays it long. Jackson can't win the header. I think that's the other thing that we need at the moment. At this level in particular. We just need that tall striker who can win balls for us. It is going to extra time. Jones with a throw in for Altrincham. Short to Osborne. Turns and gets a cross in. Hume was in there but it's headed away. James not with a convincing clearance. Ruff can't win the header against Lovett. Barnum Bob does really well to win the ball. Jackson... Onto Ruff. He's two on, well, one on m many. Eventually gets a shot away, but it goes wide. Similar to our recent game against, similar to the last round, we've gone through extra time and we've got a replay. We'll come back for that. And particularly in the second half, they did so well. So let's go with an unchanged 11 and see if we can upset Altrincham. We've actually had a little bit longer than expected between these games because. The initial rebooking of the game got delayed due to a waterlogged pitch at Altrincham. Dowling with a corner sends it in. It's headed away by Haddow, but James is going to collect it as it goes to the far post. Gets across back in. Dunn was in there, but can't win the header. It's cleared away as far as Con Clark, and he's forced to go backwards to Haddow. And Altrincham have control of the play. Long ball forward. Trotter wins the header with. Dominance, El Abd clears it away but not able to find anyone. Dunn brings it down, plays it short to Ruff, tries to get it back to Jackson but not able to do so on this occasion. Baines now has the ball at centre-back for Altrincham. I assume not Leighton. Long ball forward. It's won by Winfield. Dowling over the top, finds Ruff in space. Oh, he's hit the bar. I thought it had gone over the bar but it's actually hit the bar. But either way, it doesn't really matter. James throws the ball short to Dowling, then the cross comes in. El Abd is in there, gets the header off, but it's cleared away by Malaki. Haddow on the ball here at right back for uh, Altrincham. Altrincham lead against Chelmsford. I've just found out that apparently I missed the record button on my camera, so the last few moments may have been with no video. However, Malarkey is on the ball with a free kick for Altrincham and he plays it short to Holm and then this time they go forward but Winfield is the only man there. However, it's headed straight to Con Clark. Winfield again wins a good header, clears it away. Jones collects it for Altrincham and sends it back at us. El Abd wins that header, done on the ball. Plays it across the central midfield. Rough out to James on the wing. Back inside to Dowling and back down the wind to James. Cross comes in. Jackson's in there. Can't win it. Dowling can't win it. And again, we're putting pressure on Altrincham. But at the moment, they are dealing with it absolutely fine. Pringle coming down the wing. Inside to Con Clark. 1-1 one -on -one with the keeper. 2-0. And that might be the end of our FA Trophy run. At 1-0, we could have got back into it. We did last time out. At 2-0, away from home, I think it's a bit more unlikely. Malarkey on the ball at the back for Altrincham here. Plays it inside to Lovett and then to Lundstrom. Con Clark tries to find the ball forward. Winfield with a good interception. Ball out towards Jackson, but again, we've just not got nobody there. Denanga, that's game over. If it wasn't at 2-0, it's definitely game over at 3-0. Half time, it's 3-0. We've not even been dominated in this game. We've actually stood up for ourselves for the most part, but unfortunately it's not gone our way. Dowling with the ball on the right-hand side here. Can he find a ball into the box? He's took it to the corner, plays it back to James, and then back to Aluwu, across to Trotter. Back out to James on the right-hand side. Needs to get across in here. Does so. Done at the far post. Heads it wide. We're going to bring Oching on for Trotter. Ruff will come off for Tate. And we'll send Noakes on for Winfield. Just rotating because the game's gone, unfortunately. Baines on the ball deep 
for Altrincham here. Lundstrom is on the ball now. Back to Baines. I'm. G it's not. It's definitely not. But we're just going to check. It's Lewis Baines. It's not far off. Dowling plays the ball out to Jackson. Tries to find Tate. And then the ball comes back at us from Malarkey. However, we win it again. Dowling back to El Abd. Tries to play a ball forward, but Malarkey brings it down. Goes over the top. Noakes heads it away. But again, we're not able to keep the ball. One thing I will say about these games, Denanga's in and it's 4-0. Well, I was about to tell you that we've stood, we've given a good impression of ourselves. It's getting less of a good impression the more this happens. A jury plays a long ball forward. It goes all the way over the top. Jackson lobs the keeper. We get one back with an assist from a jury. It's, uh, it's been a tough game. It's a consolation goal. But it's always nice to get a goal as simple as that. And... It's the 19th for the season for Jackson. Pringle plays the ball to Malarkey. Good save from Ajiri. Can we get it upfield and grab a second goal, perhaps? It would, again, I'm only considering it as a consolation. However, Tate is in behind here. And we have got a second. There's 10 minutes to go here. Can we find something amazing in this game? I doubt it. But that's the second goal our goalkeeper's assisted. You never know what could happen. Ajir is on the ball here. We're one minute away from injury time. We know what he's done from here before. Long ball forward. It's gone all the way over the top. Tate. Oh, he's hit the post. That was a proper tease because the initial block, I thought, it's gone wide. It bounces down. It hits the post. And unfortunately, we have lost 4-2 to Altringham. But as I say, for the most part, we gave a good account of ourselves. I don't think we can be disappointed with the overall performance. There was times when it got a bit disappointing. That 10 minutes in the first half is what did it. So we are out of the FA Trophy. However, the way I see it, we've got now full focus on the league for the rest of the season. We're probably not going to come back until towards the end of February, perhaps. But if you have enjoyed that, please do leave a like down below. Let me know where you think we're going to be in the league by the time we come back to you. Subscribe if you're enjoying the content. And thank you very much for watching.